So I have Bill Rapp, the Chief Information Officer of uh, Covenant Retirement Community here with me today. So Bill, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us today. Well, thank you for having me. So Bill, how about we start by you sharing with us a little bit about your career so far and your journey to being the CIO? So I'm not new to IT. I started my career off in IT uh, about 30 years now, looking back at the long uh, amount of time that I spent IT. <laughs> And um, going back to originally doing development, programming, I spent some time even with Y2K when that big event was around 2000. So, um, and then took on more of a leadership role and, and had held multiple jobs doing, you know, leading teams and leading infrastructure uh, around. It. Most of my time was focused around retail. And um, I made the switch to go into consulting. Um, I spent a few years in consulting and I think that was probably the best thing that I ever did for my career. It really gave me a, a, the chance to really understand different industries, different things happening out there, different models. And, um, and then I ended up joining, uh, at the time I was doing consulting, I was doing mostly advisory services, uh, road man, mapping, planning, strategy. And then I ended up joining Covenant Retirement Community. So I've been with the Covenant now about a year and a half. And uh, it's been a great uh, transition for me and uh, I'm really enjoying working with the organization. Very interesting journey. Yes. So um, at Covenant, what is the most exciting thing that you and your team are working on right now? Well, we have a lot of IT initiatives going on, um, a lot of focus around the cloud strategy, moving some of our systems, consolidating systems, moving them to the cloud. Also, you know, looking at mobility, those kind of things. But I think what's exciting to me is really our strategic plan. You know, we've been really focusing on reinventing the organization and looking to really focus in a couple different areas. One is growth, obviously, um, looking at some different models of how we uh, provide for our residents today. And then also, you know, looking at um, optimization. So we're really trying to focus on getting, you know, more efficient, right? As, as challenges are coming up in the space, costs are going up, we're trying to really make the, make the organization more lean. So we have a bunch of communities we have 15 communities across uh, 10 states, and a lot of them do things different. So we're really trying to optimize that and, and make that uh, a little bit more smooth for the organization. And then the last thing is just customer service. So we're really trying to really focus around customer service and really um, you know, make it a great experience for our residents. So we, uh, we have about 5,000 residents and you know, across the whole continuum and uh, we're just trying to really uh, come up with a great strategy around that as well. So being a, being a CIO, you have so many opportunities and challenges to deal with. Uh, there is new technology that's coming in every day, mm. and then there are financial pressures, like you said, about optimizing operations and so on. So give us an insight into how you address what technologies you invest in, and how do you pull an IT strategy to that? Well, I, you know, it's, it's, it's fluid, right? It moves all the time. So it's, um, you know, we start off with a, a, a good plan and we look at it. You know, usually I look at my strategy quarterly and try to see where we're at. A lot of it is getting into some of these conferences and really to networking with people to really understand some of the new technologies that are coming out um, and then trying to figure out how to apply those. But I really am not a technology person to just take the new shiny coin and just deploy it, right? I really need to understand the business and how the business needs to use that technology. Because I've, I've found over my career that just deploying technology alone without good business sponsorship, good business uh, backing, and understanding the process really doesn't do much for the organization. So, I mean, just, just in general, um, it's just really working with the business teams and really understanding the needs of the organization and, um, and then prioritizing it because we can't do everything. That's, that's so true. So out of, out of all the new technologies that are coming up, are there a few that pique your interest more than the others? Well, I mean, I think some of the uh, stuff that piques my interest is around the machine learning and um, you know, predictive uh, analytics. You know, I really like the fact that we can maybe monitor um, a resident, you know, how many steps they take, whether or not they're going to the refrigerator, opening up a refrigerator, um, how active they've been, and kind of predict their health, you know, from, from those type of, that type of data. 
Um, we just launched a big uh, initiative to really revamp our, our BI strategy at Covenant. So we're at the process right now, we're just doing some data warehousing, some intel, uh, business intelligence on top of that. Um, up until this point, it's been mostly around you know Excel spreadsheets passing around the business. So we're really starting to make that adjustment to that. And I think down the road, we'll find out how that we can apply that technology and really take advantage of that. So, um, Bill, you've been associated with uh, CAST for quite some time now. And um, clearly, uh, we talked about it that you wanted to be more engaged with CAST. So what has the role uh, CAST played in your IT decisions, in your IT strategy so far, and what do you see the CAST's influence going forward? Well, I really, I, I think CAST is a fantastic resource for a lot of people. Um, I particularly love the research that gets, the time that gets put into doing the research, looking at product selection tools. Specifically, I'm looking right now at the product selection tool that we, we have for EMR and trying to see how I can apply that going forward with what I want to do with, with my uh, platform today. Um, CAST is really something that is, you know, it's, it, they're just out there looking at the new technologies coming in and they're looking at, you know, where they can add value. So a lot of those case studies, uh, research papers, I read, I read a lot of that. And like you said earlier, just trying to keep up on technology, I need all the resources I can get, right? So I find time to read stuff on the plane or wherever I can do in my spare time and just to keep up with where the industry's going. Well, you, 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 you talked about resources. And IT talent, especially in the healthcare, is, uh, is difficult, right? Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of new IT talent that is coming out of colleges today that is getting into this space and they are probably looking up to somebody like you and saying, how do I become the next Bill? How do I become the CIO? Yeah. Right? So what is your advice to people that are getting into this field? How about we close with that? Well, I'll tell you from a technology perspective, um, I, I think where I learned late in my career is spend some time with the business, right? Uh, a lot of people that love technology, and I, I, I'm a very big, I, I love technology, but you really need to understand the business. And you know, in order to be successful, you gotta be able to talk to the business. You gotta be able to do more than just hands on the keyboard and do the, techno the, the technology parts, right? So I think if I, my advice to those people would be just to really spend some time, even go and work in the business areas, and really understand the business, spend time you know, with, the, with that kind of thing. And I think that will pay off in the end for them too because there's so many things going on um, from just technology, whether it's project planning and trying to understand all the pieces and the road mapping and, you know, let's face it, it's a sales job at some times, right? You're fighting to get your budget, you're fighting with the other business areas, so you have to have those partnerships and, and really understand it. So that's, that would be my advice to them is just to think further than just IT and, th and think about the business as well. Oh, great, great advice, great insight there. So Bill, Thank you so much for taking time to uh, share these insights with us. Really yeah. appreciate it. You have a wonderful rest of the conference. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Thank Thanks. You.